50 years. And because I've been studying my Bible 50 years, because I've been paying my tithes 50 years, and because I've been sitting in a few 50 years, I have a right in this church. I have a right to tell the preacher what to preach. I have a right to tell what goes on in the church. But let me tell you something. You don't have any rights. The only right you have is eternal life with Jesus Christ if you've been born again. And if you've not been born again, you don't have any rights. Any Listen, a deacon, deacon's board, show it to me in the Bible. Give me chapter and verse. Call me right now by radio 1-800-774-5255. Give me the chapter and the verse where it says that we have to appoint deacons to tell the pastor what to preach, when to preach, and how much money he's to be paid for preaching. Come on. Give me the chapter and verse. By television, and toll-free numbers on the screen right now. Dial the number. Tell me, and you preachers in the community right here that don't like me, that's okay. You don't have to like me. Just pick up the phone right now and dial that number. You don't have to talk to me. Tell one of the people. Tell the answer machine. Give me a chapter and verse where it says it in the Bible because you don't have but one vote in the church, if, and church is not a democracy. Church is not, it hasn't got anything to do with democracy. God tells a shepherd what to preach, when to preach it, and he sends a shepherd to the church he's to go to. Now, if the preacher's not preaching the truth, you as Christians are supposed to fall to your knees and ask God to remove him. God, you take him out and send us the man here we're supposed to have. You're not supposed to tell that preacher what to preach and how to preach and when to preach and what not to preach. I said all that. Numbers 1-800-774-5255. Dial the number. Leave it on the answer machine if you don't want to talk to anybody in person. Just give us a book chapter and page of where God says that man's supposed to tell other men what to do in the church. It doesn't happen that way. Deacons are to wait tables or to go around and help the community and they've got to be full of the Spirit of God. And they've got to go help the widows and they've got to do things. That's what the Bible says anyway. Now you take up with God. I'm just a messenger. I'm just bringing you the message. Anyway, what I'm saying now is once you get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, once you get the power of Almighty God inside of you, then the, the Bible is going to come alive to you. It's going to become real to you. And when you open up the Bible, you're going to read story after story, and you're not going to want to put it down because it becomes so real. It's a, one of the greatest story books in the world, and it'll help you. It'll guide you, and it'll direct you. And God knows that you're going to go. You're going to walk into rivers. You're going to come up against rivers, and they're going to be so wide, and you're going to get into valleys, and they're going to be so deep that you're going to cross through them. But it tells you, I'll be with you, and I'll bring you out the other side. And you're going to have mountains in your pathway. You're going to have all kinds of problems. But God has made us a promise that he will never leave us. He'll never forsake us, that he'll be with you even until the end, all the way to the end. So no matter what comes your way, look to Christ and remember that you're to praise him. It doesn't matter if it's sickness. It doesn't matter if it's disease. It doesn't matter if it's poverty. No matter what comes to your family, no matter what comes to your household, you praise God. And these laborers that came at the very first, they should have been praising God. At least I got, I had a, work, a place to go today. I had work to do today. I thank God for this 17 cents. I thank God for this penny. But you see, instead of thanking and praising God, they murmured and complained. Now, they kept their money as far as the Bible is concerned, as far as I can see in the Scriptures. They got their 17 cents. <clears throat> but the people that stood there all day long waiting, they tarried. From 6 o'clock in the morning, they waited to be hired. 9 o'clock, nobody hired them. 12 o'clock, nobody hired them. 3 o'clock, nobody hired them. But they were patient. They waited. They waited, and they waited, and they waited. What did they wait for? John six forty four. They waited for John fourteen six. No man can come unto the Father but by me. That scripture had to pass through them. Then John six forty four. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. 
They had to wait for John 6, to kick in. And all of a sudden, here he come. Here come Jesus down the road about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Brother James. He said, what are you doing standing here, boy? I've been sitting in church all day, Lord, and ain't nothing happened yet. I've been here for year after year after year. I've been coming to church, and ain't nothing happened in my life. But he said, well, listen, 644 is taking place right now. So what are you going to do about it? He says, I'm going to repent right now, and I'm going to accept the Lord as my Savior, and I'm going to get out in the garden, and I'm going to work in the vineyard. And let me tell you something, church, that's exactly what God wants us to do today. He, you got to wait patiently until John 644 kicks into your life. Too many people are trying to get ahead of God. Well, God told me to go do this. God told me to do that. You better make sure it's God telling you to do it, because I'm telling you, I've seen too many people leave here. Here, and they've gone out and said, listen, God told me to go do this. God told me to go do that. Well, God changes his mind often because they'd go here to do this and go there to do that. And now they've gone. You better wait and wait upon the Lord. But you see that man at the fifth hour, 11th hour, he'd been sitting in church all day. Didn't know what he was going to do with his life. Didn't say, listen, my family's at home. They're hungry. And I ain't got nothing to take home, and nobody's hired me all day, but I'm going to wait because I believe that God knows my heart. I believe that my God will cause all things to work together for good if I just sit here and be patient. They waited upon the Lord, and at, at, at the 11th hour, here comes Jesus. When it was just about ready to go home and throw up their hands and quit, here came Jesus. And what did he do? He said, son, he said, listen, I love you. And I know you've been sitting here all day with nothing to do, but I came by to give you something today. I'm going to give you eternal life. I'm going to give you something that's going to last you from all eternity. And you get the same thing that the guy got this morning that's been here laboring all his life. He was saved 50 years ago, and he got eternal life. And now you've been saved now for an hour, and you're going to get eternal life. Those of you joining by television right now and by radio, the radio, the number is 1-800-774-5255, 1-800-774-5255. Those of you joining by television, if at all possible, I want you to bow your head right now. And if God's dealing with your heart and you want to repent of your sin and invite Christ in, say this prayer with me. Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart, and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God, and that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ into my heart to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. And I'm asking you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask all this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. If you said that prayer and you meant it, dot the number on the screen. It's an 800 number. It doesn't cost you anything. For those joining by radio, 1-800-774-5255. We've got a couple of books we'd like to send you. They're absolutely free. And if you just accepted Christ, one is Welcome to Your New Beginning. The other is the Gospel According to St. John, New Testament, King James Version. Pray for this ministry always. Support us whenever you can. And remember that Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you. He is the answer, the answer around the world.